Hi, my name is Anders Rubens. So this year, Latvia, along with other Baltic countries and Finland, is celebrating its 100-year anniversary. But when it comes to country image, Finland is known as a country with the best school system. Estonia is known as the Europe's cyber capital. Latvia really has no clear image. And even worse, in one of the recent uh, global media articles, Latvia was called the disappearing nation. And it's somewhat true as uh, since Latvia joined European Union in 2004, it has lost around 20% of its population, which is one of the biggest decreases in Europe. And the uh, low self-esteem of the remaining population doesn't help, help either. So the first and last time Latvia went through a proper country brand strategy process was in 2008. The Latvia Institute commissioned world's best-known country brand expert Simon Arnholz to do the job. However, he concluded that Latvia simply isn't ready to brand and the capital city of Riga should be branded instead. It might have been a relevant conclusion then, but today I believe Latvia has made great progress and deserves a clear umbrella brand strategy. So my thesis question, my thesis research question was, what brand strategy would attract more visitors, investment, talent? In other words, what is Latvia's brand purpose? So I interviewed 30 people that represent a wide range of experts, from science to art, from academics to business, and from locals to foreigners. So the interviews were based on DDB brand foundation approach. I also made 18 cards that represented some of the most important tensions and values like mobility, connectivity, safety, quality and others. As strategies about making choices, the experts were asked to choose three cards that were most relevant to Latvia. Connectivity, creativity and greenness won the race. So my suggestion for Latvia's brand purpose is a free space for ideas. And we Latvians may take it for granted, but people from crowded places like London, Moscow, Warsaw or Shanghai will be genuinely surprised by the combination of fresh air, high-speed internet, accessible space, creative talent, closeness to nature and rich culture Latvia has to offer. And as uh, Dutch businessman Gabi Kohl said, Latvia is ultimate testing ground for new, innovative, exciting ideas in a small controlled environment. So the strategic concept can be adopted to different areas and audiences like free space to escape for tourism, free space to learn for students, free space to create for startups, and free space to play for artists, etc. As our ability to participate in countries' marketing is limited, I suggest to create open platform that could become a free space for everyone to create and share content. That would allow photographers, designers, storytellers, product developers to share their content and become our country marketers. Some of the best pieces of uh, content could be nicely packaged and shared on social media on a regular basis, thus motivating many new people to join and share fresh content. I'm an optimist, and this November, when Latvia is celebrating its centenary, I really hope that we have a clear brand purpose that builds our own confidence and attracts many hearts and minds of other countries.